Hello makers and welcome back to another studio vlog. If you are new here, a special welcome to you. My name is Joanna and this is Stitching the High Notes where each week I share what I'm currently making, whether it be knitting, crochet, sewing, whatever crafty rabbit hole I may be going down, as well as a look behind the scenes of my creative small business where I make project bags for makers like you. My hope each week is to encourage you to nourish your own creativity, to live simply and with intention and to stitch joy or the high notes into your everyday life. How are you doing? I hope that you had a good week. I had a pretty good week. I'll be honest, it was quite stressful, <laughs> but it got better each day as the day went, days went on. Today it is Saturday and I'm having a really lovely weekend so far. It's dark and stormy i think or beginning to be stormy again here i live in the bay area in california the san francisco bay area um and it's about a little bit after 5 p.m i just finished uh, sewing for the day i've been sewing furiously preparing to get uh holiday pre-order holiday box pre-orders out the door in a couple of weeks um, but it is, it's been raining all week. It's like officially fall finally here in my neck of the woods. It feels so crisp and chilly. The high is maybe in the seventies each day, a little bit of sun. But as I said, we've been having rain, which is so, it's a godsend because we are in a horrible drought here in California. And I don't think we'd had rain true true rain during the waking hours anyway and since maybe january this year I, I need to look it up and it feels like it's been a couple of years since we've had a week like this of off and on rain so i am happy that it is nice and dark plus it's almost halloween so the vibes are perfect i've taken a few walks here and there throughout the week and the leaves have changed even more and especially with the rain they fell off the off off blah, 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 off of the trees and are now on the ground and it's just i love it living my best autumn life right now <laughs> But before I go into full basic autumn woman mode, <laughs> I do want to share today a little bit of knitting progress. Uh, some of the yarn that I'm like looking at right now, some of the yarn that I've opened up this week from the Halloween Practical Magic Advent Calendar that I got from Trilogy Yarns, which I also collaborated on. Uh, an update on the shop, a little bit of shop news, and yeah, a few other things that I wanted to share with you all. So grab a beverage, a cozy or refreshing beverage, and let's chat. I've made a little bit of progress each day on my sock project that I have going on. I'm making just a regular pair of vanilla socks, stockinette socks. I am going to be doing an afterthought heel for the first time. I've done the first sock, which I have right here, and I have some waist yarn in for where the heel is going to go. I'm going to do the same contrasting color that I have here for the cuff. And I've talked about this uh, mainly this is my main knitting project the last couple of weeks so I won't go into full detail um, since I feel like I'm just repeating <laughs> the same information each week um, but if you do have questions always ask down below and I have links to my project pages and things I chat about in the description box as well so this was the first sock and I've been plugging away steadily on the second sock and this is where I was at I think this is where I was at last week. I think I moved my progress keeper. I've been making a lot for the shop. So this is why this is my one and only kind of go-to knitting project right now. So I've made quite a bit. I have the waist yarn in now for the heel. Um, and I have waist yarn and then lifelines here um, as well. And I'll be sure to share the process of when I do the afterthought, which is getting closer and closer. And uh, yeah, so I've done a, a good chunk here this week. I uh, did a lot of bit of knitting, for, I would say from like here up uh, on Thursday, 
uh, because my favorite show, Critical Role, premiered a new campaign or season, kind of if you want to call it that. Um, and so I had a good like three hours or so. <laughs> it's a live uh, kind of game that these folks play um, that I always go on and on about. But uh, so I had a good kind of knitting session, which was really lovely. And yeah, not much more to report. The yarn is linked down below. It's by Beehive Yarns. It was gifted yarn. Uh, thank you again. Uh, you know who you are. And this is the main colorway. The colorway names are Hoggle and Foxtail, I believe. I don't know where my ball band went. It's somewhere. I think it fell out of my bag. So this beautiful colorway. And then this is the contrasting yarn. Oh, with the rainy light right now, it looks really cool. So, yeah, that's my one project, y'all. And like I said last week, it's probably going to be all I'll be knitting um, until probably mid-late November because I'm, like, in full production mode for the shop right now. However, there's still lots of yarny goodness happening. I had a little bit of a yarn haul last week and one was the advent calendar that I mentioned. And I started opening up the skeins because it's a 15, uh, 15 day advent uh, for Halloween. And I started on last Sunday, so the 17th. And I've been opening them each day and look at this. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I've totally like did not retain what is what colorway, but they're all Practical Magic themed. They're so beautiful. I'll share the names in no particular order here in a second. I just opened this one today. Absolutely stunning. And I believe Nancy, the amazing indie dyer behind Trilogy Yarns, she said that you can use a black light on these and they'll kind of glow in the dark, which is amazing. Ugh, I think this one's my favorite. Here's this one, because I know we all love looking at beautiful yarn. This one here, which I need to reskein. I got a little bit excited about it and started flinging it everywhere. <laughs> Look at how vibrant these colors are. Look at that yellow. Ugh. Two more here. Love this one. I think this was the first one that I opened. Beautiful. And then this one I really, really love. The gray. Ugh. The gray with the really dark rusty just absolutely beautiful and the little tags here have the names so it's got names like uh, the one I opened today was being normal is not necessarily a virtue which I believe one of the ants from practical magic said the man under the roses <laughs> let's do some spells the kiss Jilly Bean, uh, Death Watch Beetle, and The Gift of Magic. So that's, I think I'm, I'm just about halfway once I open it up tomorrow. Tomorrow's I'll be about halfway through. So I'm loving it. It's just such a joy. It's a great way to start the morning is opening up a little mini skein, mystery mini skein. And I had, um, Patty, I think you were the one she uh, recommended that I do a crochet blanket since my other crochet blanket, granny stripe blanket, is uh, all pastel colors. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, I'll just do it. I'll, I'll start a different blanket. So I might do that at some point uh, after I get the holiday boxes out. I was hoping to do it in the last couple of days, but the reality is all of my making energy is going into these holiday boxes. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with these beauties and then put more Halloween themed yarn and scraps into that granny stripe crochet blanket. So I can see now why so many people have multiple scrap blankets on the go because you want to keep the color schemes going and it's just kind of fun that way. I was going to do just kind of grab uh, random skeins, but it is nice to keep everything like in the same color family. It's not all pastels on my other crochet blanket, gray stripe blanket, but it's um, 
but it all kind of works it's the same so yeah so i think that'll be really fun Another fun thing that's happening right now is our sixth annual Pumpkin Mal or Make Along, which is happening primarily over on Instagram. There have been a lot of new posts this past week, and I've loved seeing them over there uh, using hashtag Pumpkin Mal 2021. I did open up the Ravelry thread and I need to catch up with anybody who's chatting over there as well but the main place is to share over on Insta. Uh, and yeah, it's just fun. It's fun to see what everybody's inspired by and what you're all creating. So thank you for sharing. And a little bit of shop news. The uh, As I mentioned, the holiday boxes are deeply in the works right now. I'm finishing up the bags. Um, that is the main thing I've been focusing on this weekend. Uh, pretty think I'm pretty much caught up from where I was kind of delayed. Everything kind of had a domino effect um, when we had all of the family stuff going on earlier this month, uh, at, at the end of September and earlier this month. So. Everything's still on target to get out the first week of November. I am, I, I saw some uh, other small business owners in the crafty world who are doing these kind of holiday boxes as well, mainly the indie dyers. And they were like, they're doing 30 uh, boxes a day in terms of packaging them and getting them ready and labeled. And I think some of them are sending them out. And I think that's what I'm gonna have to do too because I have over a hundred of them. Uh, thank you all again so much. I'm so excited that you're excited for these. Um, and I don't have, I live in a studio apartment so I don't have a lot of space. So I think I'm gonna aim to try to do like 20 to 30 a day um, in a couple of weeks when they start going out because I have lots of wrapping and stickers and all kinds of stuff to do up until then. I'm going to be busy, busy next week. Um, I think sending out 30 a day so then they're out of this space and they're out into the world. I think that's going to be it. So everybody will be getting their shipping notifications and I'll have more information about that next week. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've been doing Vlogtober over on Patreon for my Patreon peeps and supporters uh, as a special thank you for their support of this channel and keeping it ad free and supporting the shop and just kind of flexing the vlogging muscles again. I love daily vlogging. I don't do it very often these days because it is quite busy, but I thought I kind of wanted to capture what's been happening this month. More happened this month than I anticipated, but it helps me kind of focus on the highlight reel and kind of also it's a vlog, it's a journal. But I've been sharing some snippets there of the process and having to do black and white. Now it's at a point where I have to like, this is basically all that anybody sees because it's like everywhere is spoilerific. <laughs> this area all the treasures that are going into the box and by the way if you didn't know they're sold out but it's 12 items um, that are surprise items to open over the course of 12 days during the holidays so yeah it's a lot of fun but uh yeah so that's been my main focus it'll be my main focus until they're all on their way to get out to you all i'm so excited for you all to get them in the midst of everything though too you know, gotta, gotta, you know, keep the, the regular shop updates going. And a lot of you have reached out to ask if I'll be doing a restock of the, a uh, couple of the collections, uh, that are sold out for the most part in the shop, the autumn cottage days collection, and then also the wee woolly sheep collection. And the answer is yes, I'll be doing a limited, uh, restock with the fabric that I have left. Uh, I'm going to aim to do it this coming week, so stay tuned to Instagram and the newsletter, which you can sign up for over on stitchingthehighnotes.com, as well as I uh, have just a small amount of last year's Halloween and um, pumpkin inspired bags as well. I've already cut fabric there that I can put in the shop too. And the bags will be made to order within one to two business days because everything's cut and ready to go. Um, but I'm going to make it once it's ordered um, because holiday boxes. <laughs> but I wanted to put those up and get those out to y'all because I know a lot of you are excited. And then uh, in mid, late, probably late November is when I'm going to have the big 
uh, Christmas holiday season uh, bag update with uh, bags for anybody that wants them to celebrate the season and gifts and all that stuff. So yeah, things are chugging along a lot of time at my old sewing machine, which is now uh, up and resting for the evening. I did a huge clean out of my sewing machine today. Um, and I started to do, so I have an industrial semi professional industrial machine now. I'm always like, what? It's industrial to me, but I guess it's classified as semi-professional industrial or something. It's a Juki. Um, and it needs, it's very different than my domestic machine, which is a Singer that I used for years when I first started the business and for making clothes as well, mainly cosplay stuff. <laughs> um, and this one needs to be oiled. And so it's very different because when lint gets built up, especially after I do a lot of sewing of like parts with interfacing, um, it gets mixed in with some of the oil that drips down. And I've been told like that's normal because at first I was like, oh no, is it leaking? But it's just like, it's a machine. That's what happens, just like a car. And so cleaning it is very different. Like I can't just use my brush and I really have to get into the little nooks and crannies to make sure nothing gets like, you know, cogged up in the machine. And today I was like, I need a Q-tip because I need to like something to soak up the little bit of moisture that's here and there. And I did that and oh my gosh, I got it so clean and it's, it was running fine, but now it feels like it's, you know, maybe it's placebo effect, but it feels like it's running so much better. And it just was so satisfying to see it so spick and span before I started this next pro process of uh, putting zippers on some of the bags. By the way, the bags are not a spoiler alert. That was like part of it. But I, yeah, I just... Yeah, it felt really, really good. I don't know, does it do any of you, when you clean your sewing machines, are you like, uh, like do a really good clean and you're just like, yes, like it's that satisfying. I've been in that mode too anyway, because I did yesterday, I had this big, now we're just going into kind of lifey stuff here, but I had um, a, a beat in my bonnet, you could say, to clean out my bathroom because it, just had old products that needed to be recycled like old canisters um and some things in there that i just needed to get rid of and clean out things that i didn't use anymore like old nail polish things that i had like been putting off like recycling and like wanting to make sure i did it in an environmentally safe way and everything so i took the time to do it uh yesterday and really pared things down to things that I really truly use. And I feel it feels so freeing and so good. I'm just like chipping away at stuff more and more, becoming more and more minimal and simple. And I just oh, feel so freeing to do that. I don't know if any of you feel the same way. Uh, I also found um, just to hit it in a drawer, just to hit. For, not forgotten about it just hadn't had it out in a long time this little mask that I got when 20 years ago now y'all officially 20 years ago which is nuts I was in Venice in uh, 2001 just after a chorus trip uh, from college and I went with my friends after the course trip in France to Italy and we went to Florence and Venice yeah we went to those two places and in Venice we uh, I we decided to celebrate my birthday which was in a couple of weeks I ended up being back thankfully just in the nick of time uh, it, later in September for my birthday but we celebrated it in Venice with a dinner and at the dinner the waiter gave me a little Venetian mask um, to celebrate and I've held on to it all these years I knew it was like a little tchotchke touristy thing but I something about it just always reminded me to stay like free and open have that wanderlust and to have confidence and because I felt very I felt very confident that night I felt like I was in my element and like I was coming into my own and finding it again 20 years later just about 20 years later was like it 
hit me really hard yesterday. I'm still kind of processing it. And so I cleaned it off and I tried not to wipe off any of the glitter. It had old makeup kicked on there from over the years. I mean, it's like 20 years ago. I know I keep saying it, but it's like really hit me <laughs> 20 years ago. And um, ended up just kind of propping it up uh, on my little fake plant I have in there because there's no sunlight in there. And uh, yeah, it was just really good. So now that's like proudly displayed and I just, it feels really good. And it felt really good to clean my machine today. And I went, I had to get out of the house today too because I was getting really weird. I haven't been out very much because of, a little bit because of the rain, but mainly because I've just been working a lot and and uh, went to Mariposa Bakery down in Oakland and stocked up for the next few weeks on some baked goods, put a lot in my freezer as well to make sure I'm like treating myself a little bit here and there as I'm working hard. And um, so that felt really good to get out and about. And then I was quickly like, oh yeah, this is why I'm cool with like staying. I'm such a homebody. I always was, but now I definitely am because that traffic man is no joke in the Bay Area, especially going from the north part of the East Bay into Oakland. It's like this like nest of weird turns and very quick and I just felt like I was in the fast and the furious and I was like oh, <laughs> so crazy but I got the baked goods and I got home and I had a pan au chocolat and it was so yummy but goodness I am rambling let me see what else I wanted to share with you let me take a look at my show notes I think that's about it um I have done a little bit of cooking here and there made a really yummy Korean uh kimchi uh vegan beef uh bowl yesterday which was really good um I'm hoping to make a yummy soup tomorrow I was gonna do it today but I no <laughs> I'm just going to tuck in and eat some leftovers, maybe another croissant or something from Mariposa Bakery. Um, but that that kimchi Korean bowl is really good. So I found this vegan meat that's really, really good. I have gotten rid of beef in my diet for the most part. It just doesn't agree with me. Um, and I've been really happy to have found some vegan options for when I'm needing that kind of flavor um, that don't have soy in it and everything. This one's by Abbott's Butcher. So if you have it in your area, definitely recommend, highly recommend it because you can season it and it's awesome. My mouth is watering thinking about it. So I might make one of those for dinner actually. And uh, yeah, I decided to go to the bakery because I want to bake right now. It's cozy. It's wonderful. It's fall. I want to make all of the things, but I'm making all of the things for you all right now. And and uh, so if I can treat myself I, to some baked goods made by others, then I'm definitely going to do it. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope that you all had a wonderful week. That you have a wonderful week ahead. Please let me know what you are making down below. I would love to hear it and for you to inspire other people as well. I want to live vicariously through you. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to sharing more makes, hopefully more makes with you all in the coming weeks. Uh, next week is Halloween. I'm so excited. I am going to be going up to see family and help out with my mama who's continuing to do much better. Thank you all again for your love and prayers for her. Um, so I think I'll have a vlog to chat with you all, um, but stay tuned. I will always post on Instagram and here on the community tab. If you are subscribed, you'll see posts as well there uh, here on YouTube. So have a wonderful week and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.